New York City. You've heard it all. Biggest, best, richest, ritziest, craziest. Some even call it the center of the universe. There's an old line about there being eight million stories in the Big Apple. But you know, none of them would be possible without this one. Everyone thinks of New York as the city that goes up, a high-tech metropolis that reaches for the sky. What makes it all possible is the other parallel world way below. Like Middle Earth, hundreds of feet down, a subterranean maze of tunnels. Without them, the city above literally couldn't exist. The people who build the tunnels are called sand hogs. the land. People in high-risk occupations are crazy mother Sandhogs, New York's legendary urban miners, have been digging a tunnel under New York City for the past 40 years. Hard work. Bring in water to New York City. Yeah, let it rip. Hey, pay attention now. There's a big city under New York City, and it was put there primarily by Sandhogs. A bunch of characters, you know, the guys that probably sat in the back of the class. <laughs> Cut school, didn't show up, got into fights, and then everyone, you know, the teacher says, oh, where do you think you're going to end up? You know, you're going to be packing bags over here in the grocery store, and so on and so forth, the next thing you know, we're mining. Crazy, dangerous work. 24 guys are dead on this job already. This isn't Disney World yeah, down exactly. here. This isn't Disney World. This is the brotherhood of men who have dug every tunnel underneath New York. 147 rocks, you hear me? This is the part of New York that tourists will never see. There are mining camps right in Midtown Manhattan, in Brooklyn, in Queens, and in the Bronx. And tunnels where men like Morgan Curran and his men Swiss cheese through prehistoric rock, far beneath the world's most famous city. Over the last century, the Sandhogs have dug hundreds of miles of tunnels, but they've never been as deep as they are in this project, New York City's third water.